Welcome to Hands-On Equations, Part 2. In this series, we're looking at how this balance equates to equations, because equations are all about balance, and as you manipulate equations, the key is to keep the equation in balance. So, in this example, remember these blue pawns represent a variable, an unknown, which we call x, and this red dice represents a positive whole number. So this represents two pawns equals 10. Well, even the young kid can understand that it's got to be 5 and 5 to equal 10. So really, all we figured out very quickly was that a pawn equals 5. We can think about it as repeated addition. We can think about it as we divided. But the key here is for a young kid to recognize that it's got to be the same value twice and then equals 10 all together. So it's important for a child to recognize that these two pawns must equal the same amount and all together they equal 10. So each pawn is worth 5. And this equates to the equation 2x equals 10. And you know if you're trying to advance your kid very quickly into thinking algebraically and using the correct algebra steps, we would show a fraction bar as division, dividing both sides by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So you're left with 1x, which equals 5. And then in this program, we do something called a check, which basically means that you just put your numbers back in place to check that it's in balance. So here, 5 plus 5 does indeed equal 10, because 10 equals 10. So now we have two pawns plus four equals 10. And I still have to keep this in balance, right? So that means something plus something plus four equals 10. Well, one of the first rules to learn in hands-on equations and really in algebra is that you would want to do the same thing to both sides of the equation, which in this case, you would want to remove the four from both sides. So sometimes on, on the paper, kids would draw arrows. But if I remove the 4, then this 4 becomes 0, right? It goes away. And then this 10 will drop down to 6 because I know that 10 minus 4 is 6. So now I've got two pawns equals 6. And I know that each pawn is worth the same amount, so it's got to be a 3 because 3 plus 3 equals 6. And again, I, it, this started out as 2x plus 4 equals 10. So this is like a two-step equation from the onset. And you might think that an 8-year-old would have a hard time with that. And they would, except I think that the pawns and the dice really help. So again, we subtracted 4 first off of both sides. And we had two pawns equals 6. And then each pawn equals 3 because we divided by 2. Or we just knew that 2 times something. And literally two times means two of that same thing. So two of three, two threes equals six. Thanks. Look for the next hands-on equations piece coming out soon. Thanks. Bye.